Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can set up a timed quiz in Storeline 360. Now are you using time or timers in your e-learning project? Uh, because time is to create a sense of urgency or force quick decisions. But how do you create a timed quiz in Articulate Storyline? Now, in this video, I will show you, and you see I already did some preparations. I created a quiz here with slides from the Articulate Storyline content library. So you see here a welcome slide, three different question slides, and the last slide is a quiz result slide. Now let's go to the design tab of the quiz result slides. And you see here that you have the option for a timed quiz. Now, if you unselect it, it's uh, now not blue anymore and you see that the options are gray so if you select it you see that the options are editable so for instance first the time you can here set a time limit uh, yeah, normally it's set to 60 minutes but no, this is a short quiz i will set it to five minutes i think that this is enough for three questions and then you have some timer options you can decide when to start the timer for instance with the first question or with the first slide and you can also set how you want to display for instance you don't want to show time and then you only get a message if the time ends um, and now I've set it to remaining so I've set it to remaining and now let me show you how this works if you preview this in Articulate Storyline preview so now I'm in the preview mode of this course so let's collapse the menu first slide and you'll see there is no timing in the player Let's continue to the first question and you see Articulate Storyline now automatically uh, adds timing here. So I can now, for instance, add the questions. I have to complete this one, submit, correct, and I'll go to the third question, correct. And now I have another option, submit. And now I'm on my quiz result slide and you see the time is stopped. So I have four minutes and 35 seconds left uh, i have a passing score of 80 percent and my score was 100 percent and this was because i can do the second the third uh, question another time now let's go back to the edit mode and see for the other time options so now the timer option was remaining uh, but we can also set it elapsed from a total and now if you go to public uh, the preview mode again so we're in the preview mode of this course again and i wonder if there's no time so i'll go to the first question slide and you see here now that the timing appears different you see here i have five minutes in total and this is the spend time so and it adds up and with the previous example it uh, subtracts from the total time now let's go to the uh, last example so i'll go back to edit mode so and here you have also elapsed so if i select this one and preview my course so now we're in storyline preview mode again so i'll click to go to the first slide question slide and you see here now it's only the elapsed time but i think a drawback is that you don't see uh, the time remaining you don't know how much time you have yeah, you can set it on the first slide with some uh, explanation about the quiz but I think it's also logical to set it here uh, in the player so let's go back to the preview mode for me if I should choose one time it should re remaining because it counts down or elapse out of total so you see how many time uh, you have in total and how many time you spent on the quiz and not only elapsed now, before you add time in your next e-learning project, be aware that time pressure doesn't work for, for everyone. Uh, for instance, it can limit the accessibility of your course. Uh, and other people uh, just get nervous as soon as they find out that their actions are timed and that does bad benefit learning at all. So think carefully if time adds something to your course or not, but you now know how you can simply add time to a quiz in Articulate Storyline. And if you want to create great, engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline, 
make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articled Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articled Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.